Hello everyone, welcome to 5 Minutes Health Talk that can either save your life or save somebody else's life. Diabetes. Diabetes is a disease that no one wants to have. In our world today, there are over 450 million people with diabetes. In the United States where I live, there are about over 100 million people with diabetes, over 33% of the population either have diabetes, prediabetes, or undiagnosed diabetes. Now, we see obesity and diabetes coming together. That is called diabetes. What does that mean? Type 2 diabetes um, is associated with obesity. The extra fat in our bodies cause what we call insulin resistance. You see, the pancreas, which is a, a gland that is right under our left rib cage, produces a hormone that is called insulin. Now, when we have excessive fat in our bodies, that fat sits on the insulin receptors, causing the pancreas to be producing more and more insulin because the insulin just cannot function well. The insulin cannot take the sugar through that receptor into the cell. So we produce more and more um, insulin. And insulin resistance can lead to other complications. So diabetes type 2 is also called lifestyle disease. Lifestyle disease just simply means that it's a disease that can either be improved, prevented, or reversed using healthy lifestyle. Now, diabetes can lead to many complications. The leading cause of blindness in the United States is as a result of uh, diabetes. Diabetes can lead to blindness, as I mentioned, renal failure, heart disease, increased susceptibility to infection like COVID-19. It can also lead to poor circulation, as well as increased risks for various cancers. So diabetes is a disease that I want you to realize that you don't necessarily have to have. And if you already have diabetes, then you're not destined to be on drugs for the rest of your life. Now, what are some of the symptoms of diabetes? Increased thirst, fatigue, blurry vision, increased urination. All these are symptoms of diabetes. Now, when you have diabetes and you go to the doctor, we have an option to start you on healthy lifestyle, nutrition, exercise, rest, stress management, as well as medication. But the most important disease modifying factor is what you consume. You must have heard the saying that you are actually what you eat and you are what you eat. So if you have diabetes then, what should you consume mostly in your, in your diet? You need to think plants. All the green leafy vegetables, all the yellow vegetables, all the red, all plant-based. You see, these green leafy vegetables are low in carbohydrate. Carbohydrate, that's one of the factors that will cause the blood, to, the blood sugar to be high. So a healthy diet of green leafy vegetables will decrease the sugar. Not only that, the plant-based food, green leafy vegetables, these are high in fiber. Fiber will tend to blunt the, the body from absorbing too much sugar, so it blunts the spike. Another thing that you should consider, things are tubers, things like sweet potato. You might say, sweet potato, yes, this is low glycemic. So sweet potato, that is good for you. Whole grains, oatmeal, brown rice, quinoa, whole wheat bread, whole wheat tortilla, because these are high in fiber. Fiber keeps you fuller longer and blunts your need to be consuming more and increased consumption of food will not only will cause obesity, but that will also cause the sugar to go high. What else can you consume? Legumes, peas and beans. This is wonderful for diabetics. If you're a diabetic, then legumes should be your friend. What are legumes? Lentils, black bean, red peas, um, all the beans, these uh, things like chickpea, wonderful. These are high in complex carbohydrate, which will not spike your sugar. 
This is, these are also high in fiber, which you must put in your body. Then, of course, drinking water. Water is good for many reasons, but water does not have calories, does not have sugar, and you need to consume a high amount of water to stay healthy. Seeds. Seeds and nuts are great because they're low glycemic, meaning therefore they will not spike your sugar, they don't have carbohydrates. You must be careful though because these are high in calories. So seeds and nuts are great, but be very careful. Exercise. Exercise is medicine. If you're diabetic or if you want to prevent diabetes and even if you want to decrease your weight, exercise is important. It is believed that exercising or walking 15 minutes post meal will not only decrease your sugar because the muscles are using all the calories and extra sugar, but exercise also increases the ability of the insulin to function a little bit better. So exercise after meals, 15 minutes is good for diabetics. And of course, next, stress management. Increased stress increases certain stress hormone that will also increase your blood sugar. And lastly, trust in God. In this time of the COVID-19 pandemic, a lot of us are stressed, but stress will increase the stress hormone and this will increase your blood sugar. Sleep, rest, that's important. It's not, it's very difficult to speak to you and give you all the information that I want to give you in five minutes. So I'm going to ask you to return again, follow this seminar, and I will just continue to expand on the topic before. Now remember that God wants you to be healthy. Most importantly, he wants you to enjoy good health. So believe in him, meditate, trust in God, and good physical, mental, and spiritual health will be yours. I see you soon. Bye-bye.